My name's Paul. I'm currently six months into a slow recovery from um, a traffic accident that um, left me with some rather substantial injuries, including the loss of sight to my left eye, some tissue damage and a, a couple of busted bones and a dislocated thumb as well. I was a passenger in a friend's car when we were hit and uh, the main problem was the airbags deploying, which sent all the bits of plastic dashboard straight through my eyelids and uh, caused quite horrendous damage to the eyeball. They did emergency surgery on my eye. The damage was such that they had to then um, remove part of the cornea and the entire of the lens. I can see like bits of colour and light and shape, but nothing nothing worthy of being called sight. I couldn't continue in the job that I was doing, which was driving very heavily armoured vehicles. It was catastrophic to me. That, that, that loss was immediate and, uh, yeah, still haunting me at the moment. In my case, I got statutory sick pay, which is 80 quid a week. Then I moved on to income support, which was even less. It was like 70 quid a week, you know. Doesn't pay the bills. So all my savings sort of got drained away and um, having to rely on family for financial support is by far the worst, was the worst thing for me. I should not have to do it. It's been a colossal hit on my wages, um, sort of, you know, obviously. And um, it's had a detrimental effect on my mental health long term. Very depressing. I think it's part of human nature to you know, to think, oh God, why, you know, why has this happened to me? It's that that causes depression because you feel targeted, you feel sort of like the whole world's against you. I hadn't even thought about compensation claims or anything like that until my mum said, look, you know, you need to go and speak to one of these companies. And um, the first thing that springs to your mind is, oh, I don't want to go and ask someone for help until, like, you take a step back and you think, there's no way I can... I can support myself through this. The system needs reform. Absolutely it does. But, you know, the priority should be for non-fault victims. Absolutely should be top of the list and they should be looked after much better than they are. With me, I have a long recovery ahead and at least another two surgeries to try and correct and, and regain some vision, which is unlikely, but it's worth a try. And um, financially... That looks like that's going to be going on for another two years. So a very long road still to go. But.